Jamie at Termiti Chapters on Inheritance Jamie at Termiti Chapters on Inheritance Abu Huraira narrated that the Messenger of Allah, S.A.W., said, Whoever leaves wealth then it is for his heirs, and whoever leaves poor dependents then it, the responsibility, is for me. Jamie at Termiti 2090 Reference 29 Hadith 1 Jamie at Termiti. Chapters on Inheritance Abu Huraira narrated that the Messenger of Allah, S.A.W., said, Learn the laws of inheritance and the Quran, and teach the people, for I am immortal. Jamie at Termiti 2091 Reference 29 Hadith 2. Jamie at Termiti. Chapters on Inheritance Habir bin Abdullah said, the wife of Sa'd bin A.R. Rabi came with her two daughters from Sa'd to he Messenger of Allah, S.A.W., and said, O Messenger of Allah, S.A.W. These two are daughters of Sa'd bin A.R. Rabi who fought along with you on the day of Yuhud and was martyred. Their uncle took their wealth, without leaving any wealth for them, and they will not be married unless they have wealth. He said, Allah will decide on that matter. The ayah about inheritance was revealed, so the Messenger of Allah, S.A.W., sent, word, to their uncle saying, Give the two daughters of Sa'd two-thirds, and give their mother one-eighth, and whatever remains, then it is for you. Jamie at Termiti 2092 Reference 29 Hadith 3 Jamie at Termiti. Chapters on Inheritance Huzail bin Shurabil said, a man came to Abu Musa and Salman bin Rabia and asked them about a daughter, a son's daughter, a father's sister and a mother's sister. So they said, For the daughter is half, for the sister of the father and the mother is what remains. And they said to him, Go to Abdullah, bin Masood, and ask him, for surely he will concur with us. So he went to Abdullah mentioning that to him and informing him what they had said. Abdullah said, If that were the case, then I would avenue erred and not been among the rightly guided, on the matter. Rather, I will judge with what the Messenger of Allah, S.A.W., judged. For the daughter is half, for the son's daughter a sixth, totaling two-thirds and for the sister is what remains. Jamie at Termiti 2093 Reference 29 Hadith 4 Jamie at Termiti Chapters on Inheritance Al-Harith narrated that Ali said, You recite this ayah. After payment of legacies he, or she, may have bequeathed or debts, without causing harm. And indeed the Messenger of Allah, S.A.W., judged the debt before the will and that the children, sons and daughters, from the same mother and father inherit, not the sons from various mothers. The man inherits from his brother from his father, and his mother, not his brother from his father. Another chain reports a similar narration. Jamie at Termiti 2094 Reference 29 Hadith 5 Jamie at Termiti. Chapters on Inheritance Al-Harith narrated that Ali said, The Messenger of Allah, S.A.W., judged that the children, sons and daughters, from the same mother and father inherit, not the sons from various mothers. Jamie at Termiti 2095 Reference 29 Hadith 6 Jamie at Termiti. Chapters on Inheritance Habir bin Abdullah said, The Messenger of Allah, S.A.W., came to visit me while I was ill at Banu Salama. I said, O Prophet of Allah, S.A.W., how shall I divide my wealth among my children? But he did not say anything to me, until the following was revealed. Allah commands you regarding your children's, inheritance, to the male, a portion equal to that of two females. Jamie at Termiti 2096 Reference 29 Hadith 7 Jamie at Termiti. Chapters on Inheritance Habir bin Abdullah said, I was ill. So the Messenger of Allah, S.A.W., came to visit me and found me unconscious. He came walking while Abu Bakr and Umar were with him. The Messenger of Allah, S.A.W., performed wudu, 
then poured the remaining water on me, so I came to my senses. I said, O Messenger of Allah, S.A.W., how shall I dispose of my wealth, or, what shall I do with my wealth? He did not reply anything to me and he had nine sisters until the eye about the inheritance was revealed. They ask you for a legal verdict. Say. Allah directs, thus, about al Kalala. Habir said. It was revealed regarding me. Jamie at Termidi 2097 Reference 29 Hadith 8. Jamie at Termidi. Chapters on Inheritance Ibn Abbas narrated that the Messenger of Allah, S.A.W., said, Give the shares of inheritance to those who are entitled to them. As for what remains, then it is for the closet male relative. Another chain reports similar narration. Jamie at Termidi 2098 Reference 29 Hadith 9 Jamie at Termidi Chapters on Inheritance Imran bin Hussain narrated. A man came to the Prophet, S.A.W., and said my son died, so what do I inherit from him? He said, For you is a sixth. When he turned to leave, he called him and said, For you is another sixth. So when he turned to leave, he called him saying, The last sixth is consumable for you. Jamie at Termidi 2099 Reference 29 Hadith 10 Jamie at Termidi. Chapters on Inheritance Kabisa bin Duwayb said, A grandmother, the mother of a mother, or the mother of a father, came to Abu Bakr and she said, A son of my son, or, a son of my daughter died, and I have been informed that there is a right, from the wealth, for me in the book. So Abu Bakr said, I do not find that there is a right for you in the book, and I have not heard that the Messenger of Allah, S.A.W., judged anything for you. I shall ask the people. So, al mugira bin Shuba testified that the Messenger of Allah, S.A.W., gave her, case, a sixth. He said, And who heard that along with you? He said, Muhammad peace be upon him bin Maslama. He said, so he gave her a sixth. Then the other grandmother who was left behind came to Umar. Sufyan said, And Mamar said to me in addition, From Az-Zuri, and I do not remember it to be from Az-Zuri, rather I remember it to be from Mamar. That Umar said, If the two of you are together then it is for both of you, and whichever of you is alone with it. The sixth. Jamie at Termidi 2100 Reference 29 Hadith 11 Jamie at Termidi, Chapters on Inheritance Then It Is For Her Jamie at Termidi 2100 Reference 29 Hadith 11 Jamie at Termidi, Chapters on Inheritance Kabisa bin Duwayb said, A grandmother came to Abu Bakr to ask him about her inheritance. He said to her, There is noting for you in the Book of Allah and there is nothing for you in the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, S.A.W. So, return until I ask the people. So he asked the people and al mugira bin Shuba said, I was present when the Messenger of Allah, S.A.W., gave her, case, a sixth. So he said, Was anyone else with you? Muhammad peace be upon him bin Maslama stood to say the same as what al mugira bin Shuba said. So Abu Bakr implemented that for her. Then the other grandmother came to Umar bin al-Khattab to ask him about her inheritance. He said, There is nothing in the book of Allah for you, but there is that sixth. So if the two of you are together then it is for both of you, and whichever of you remains, then it is for her. Jamie at Termidi 2101 Reference 29 Hadith 12 Jamie at Termidi Chapters on Inheritance Abdullah bin Masood said, about the grandmother along with her daughter. The Messenger of Allah, S.A.W., gave the first grandmother, along with her son, a sixth for them to consume while her son was living. Jamie at Termidi 2102 Reference 29 Hadith 13 Jamie at Termidi 
Chapters on Inheritance Abu Umama bin Sal bin Hunayf said. Umar bin al-Khattab sent me with a letter to Abu Ubaidah, saying that the Messenger of Allah, S.A.W., said, Allah and his Messenger are responsible for the one who has no patron, and the maternal uncle inherits from the one who has no heirs. Jamie at Termidi 2103 Reference 29 Hadith 14 Jamie at Termidi Chapters on Inheritance Aisha narrated that the Messenger of Allah, S.A.W., said, The maternal uncle inherits from the one who has no heirs. Jamie at Termidi 2104 Reference 29 Hadith 15 Jamie at Termidi. Chapters on Inheritance Aisha narrated that a freed slave of the Prophet, S. A. W fell from foliage on a date palm and died. So the prophet, S.A.W., said, See if he has any heirs. They said, Number. He said, Pay it to someone among the people of the town. Jamie at Termidi 2105 Reference 29 Hadith 16 Jamie at Termidi. Chapters on Inheritance Ibn Abbas narrated that, a man died during the time of the Messenger of Allah, S.A.W., and he did not leave any heirs except for a slave that he had freed. So the Prophet gave him his inheritance Jamie at Termidi 2106 Reference 29 Hadith 17 Jamie at Termidi. Chapters on Inheritance Usama bin Zayd narrated that the Messenger of Allah, S.A.W., said, the Muslim does not inherit from the disbeliever, nor the disbeliever from the Muslim. Another chain reports a similar narration. Jamie at Termidi 2107 Reference 29 Hadith 18 Jamie at Termidi. Chapters on Inheritance Habir narrated that the Prophet, S.A.W., said, The people of two religions do not inherit from each other. Jamie at Termidi 2108 Reference 29 Hadith 19 Jamie at Termidi. Chapters on Inheritance Abu Huraira narrated that the Prophet, S.A.W., said, The murderer will not inherit. Jamie at Termidi 2109 Reference 29 Hadith 20 Jamie at Termidi. Chapters on Inheritance Sa'id bin al-Musayyab said, Umar said, The blood money is upon the Akila, and the wife does not inherit anything from the blood money of her husband. So ad dahak bin Sufyan al-Kalabi informed him that the Messenger of Allah, S.A.W., wrote to him, saying, to give the wife of Ashyam ad dababi the inheritance from her husband's blood money. Jamie at Termidi 2110 Reference 29 Hadith 21 Jamie at Termidi. Chapters on Inheritance Abu Huraira narrated that the Messenger of Allah, S.A.W., judged the payment of a gara male or female slave in the case of a woman's fetus from Banu Libyan which miscarried. Then the woman who was required to give the gara died, so the Messenger of Allah, S.A.W., judged that her inheritance be given to her children and her husband, and that her blood money be paid by her asaba. Jamie at Termidi 2111 Reference 29 Hadith 22 Jamie at Termidi. Chapters on Inheritance Abudullah bin Mahab, and some of them said Abdullah bin Wab, narrated from Tamim ad-Dari who said, I asked the Messenger of Allah, S.A.W. What is the Sunnah regarding a man among the people of the Shirk who accepts Islam at the hand of a man among the Muslims? So the Messenger of Allah, S.A.W., said, He is the closet of the people to him in his life and in his death. Jamie at Termidi 2112 Reference 29 Hadith 23 Jamie at Termidi Chapters on Inheritance Amr bin Shu'ayb narrated from his father, from his grandfather, that the Messenger of Allah, S.A.W., said, 
any man who fornicates with a free woman, or a slave woman, then the child born from Zena does not inherit, nor is it inherited from. Jamie at Termidi 2113 Reference 29 Hadith 24 Jamie at Termidi. Chapters on Inheritance Amr bin Shu'ayb narrated from his father, from his grandfather, that the Messenger of Allah, S.A.W., said, The one who inherits the Walla is the one who inherits the wealth. Jamie at Termidi 2114 Reference 29 Hadith 25 Jamie at Termidi Chapters on Inheritance Wathila bin al Aska narrated that the Messenger of Allah, S.A.W., said, The woman collects three inheritance, whomever she freed, whomever she found, and the child for which she made Lien. Jamie at Termidi 2115 Reference 29 Hadith 26